Hey guys, this is Sam with Geek. I just want to do my quick quick review on iTunes 8. Now this is the Mac OS 10 version. I will be reviewing both of them though, but I will not be screenshotting the Windows version and I will tell you why in a minute. Now iTunes 8 is fairly improved over the last version of iTunes 7. It has tons of new features. This I freaking love, this new view. It's called I don't know what the hell is it called. I don't think it has a name. Let's see. Grid. So this is Grid. And what you can do is you can enlarge icons here, as you can see there. And it just is a whole new great way to organize podcasts or music. As you can see, I have all my podcasts here. And if I want to put them into categories, it gets every genre and puts them in there. Ta-da! All the genres are here. And then if I want the new ones, every podcast with new episodes appears up on the screen. So, it's just amazing to me. I love it. It's so much easier, so much more intuitive. And it just makes finding my podcasts a lot easier because I listen to a lot of podcasts, as you can see here. As for music, you still have your old classic style view, cover flow, and the grid flow here. I do not like the grid flow here, flow here because it just doesn't work as well. I do love it, though. I love this. I've always loved this way. I hate the genius bar, though. I am turning it off. The genius bar is now on the side and takes up so much room. It was so much better when it was on the bottom and popped up because it was just something simple and nice and didn't extract your view or shorten your window span. But now it kind of really gets in the way. The genius bar, to me, really had nothing to offer. It's, But, you know, it's there for people who like it. The filing system's all the same. It's still f tons of fun. I mean, not tons of fun, but you know, it's just still the same great application. Simple, easy, it's great. Here's my problems with it, though. This version of iTunes actually wastes tons of resources on both platforms. Now, it does waste less on Mac. I have noticed that. In fact, on Windows, it wastes it so much resources. I cannot even barely have any other applications on, on the same amount of RAM as on my Mac. So, I just said screw it, and I don't use iTunes on Windows. I mean, you can use it, but here's the thing about iTunes. You really don't need to update iTunes if you're never going to download the new, I mean, if you're not going to buy the new iPods. Because if you don't buy the new iPods, there's really no reason to download the new iTunes. The new iTunes is just there for the new iPods. So unless you're planning on getting a new iPod Nano or the new iPod Touch, then maybe download it on Windows, but it is such a resource hog. I mean, Apple, come on. We all know you could do better because the Mac version will waste not even near as much resources as the Windows version. So please fix that. I mean, I, I don't like Windows, but I think that's just ridiculous for Apple to do that. So, yes, I love the... the I like the new iTunes. It's okay, but the resource thing really ugh, bugs the shit out of me. As for my friend with Apple TV, because I honestly think Apple TV is the most retarded thing on the planet, it actually streams a lot more nicer and faster with iTunes 8. iTunes 8 actually works a lot better on Apple TV. So if you have Apple TV, download it. It'll work so much better than iTunes 7. I was there trying to help my friend hook it up with iTunes 7. It was difficult, at least in my opinion. It seemed it didn't work as flawlessly as I thought it should. As for iPods, it also seems that the Mac version seems to waste a lot more resources when it's importing songs from the iPod than it did on iTunes 7. Overall, it's basically it hogs a little bit more resources. The grid view is really awesome. I like that. Virtually everything else is the same. So if you are going to get, here's my verdict. If you're going to get a new iPod, go ahead, download it. If not, just stick with iTunes 7. It's just going to be a lot easier for you and a lot less complicated. And that's just my opinion. If you don't disagree with my opinion, post your comments below. I'd love to debate you because whatever. iTunes, so yeah, I give this application... A 7 out of 10. I still prefer the older version better, and that's not a good sign in my